Welcome to Life Force of Divination. I have the extreme pleasure, for, all the way from India, to interview this very spiritual bearing, being that I've uh, become very acquainted to and become a brother of. And please introduce yourself. What is your name? My name is Satyam Tiwari. I am from India and uh, I am so happy to talk to you. Nice to meet you. Oh, the honor and pleasure is all mine. Where, where do you live? I live in Prayagraj, India. I live in near Ganges River. And uh, how old are you? I am old, 17 years. You're 17 years old? Yeah. Ah, young, young man. Thank you. And how old are you? I am 61, 62, something like that. Uh, very great. Now, are, are you uh, going to school at all? Yeah, I am in, um, you know, I read in class 11. <laughs> I read in class 11th. Nice. Now, you, I found out that you are a member of or a participant of the, a pundit. You're a pundit, right? Yes, I am a Brahmin. Brahmin like a pundit, Brahmin like a priest. It's the English word is priest. And how long have you been uh, studying that? You know, uh, I am studying now and uh, my father is a Vedic Brahmin and Vedic astrologer. He is old, he is old uh, 45 and uh, he is uh, an astrologer since, uh, since 30 years. Uh, and uh, your mother is? My mother is housewife. Mm -hmm. So tell, tell me about your uh, life in India. H how did you grow up? What did you do? All the good stuff. Uh, everything is well. All is uh, good. And uh, I am uh, studying of Vedic astrology and uh, Vedic uh, chant, Vedic mantra. And life is very great there. I feel so happy. And my desire is for future. I will become a great Vedic astrologer. And I will become a very great Vedic Pandit. That is amazing. Um, brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have one brother and one sister. And my sister got married uh, last year. Blessings, blessings. And my hmm. brother, my brother is uh, old, uh, older, 20 years, and he is also studying, and uh, he is doing graduation now. How old is he? He is old, 20 years. He graduating already? Nice. So... And, uh, and my father is doing uh, prayers in banks of Ganges River. And this prayers uh, is Vedic culture prayers. He is a Vedic astrologer and he doing prayers in banks of Ganges River for health, for wealth, for business, for family and for consciousness. Consciousness. I love consciousness. We have to get into that. Yeah. Uh, you know, the Vedic Yagya is capable of providing complete happiness of life. Ocean of the infinite powers of the universe by eradicating the negative effects of all problems and obstacles, the influence of positive divine powers is effective on mankind, which enhances the economic situation, taxes to business to greater height, the person entire obstacles are overcome. This is the effect of Vedic Yagya. This is all natural. That was amazing. That was a very good uh, analogy of what you do. Your Thank English, you so much. Your English is right on. 
thank you so much and i'm so happy that uh, you give me time your time and uh, you give me permission to join meeting with me so happy to hear that and so happy to meet you yeah do you uh, you do you read sanskrit yeah i do, i read sanskrit and uh, a lot of the prayers they're in sanskrit right yeah a lot of uh, prayers and lot of chant lot of mantras every mantras uh, doing for you know different different uh, kinds of problems like for some mantras for business some mantras for solving health problems some mantras for growing business you know lot of mantras for lot of things very well said and uh, I invite you. You can come India and visit me. <laughs> it would be a blessing. <laughs> I'd be totally grateful. Who knows? You never know. The universe speaks in uh, speaks in many different ways. Yeah. And uh, I tell to your uh, all friends, uh, please uh, support our channel. and uh, i hope that we will have more videos future we will have lot of meetings in future about consciousness about you know different different region and uh, dear all friends if anybody need any kinds of prayers if anybody have uh, like you know business problem some kinds of health problem please uh, uh please uh, comment on this uh, video we will see and uh, if anybody would like to have prayers in banks of ganges river then please try to contact our john <laughs> oh one more question okay yeah i i know the 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 Ganges River is very spiritual and very holy, right? Yeah. Because it brings life and water and can you expand upon that? Yeah, I can expand. Can you see me? Nope. You blinked out. Okay, one minute. There you are. Okay. Yeah. One minute I explain you. yeah one minute i explain you can you hear me yes yeah, go ahead Uh, lost the audio yeah yeah uh, ganga ganga is the goddess who flow from heaven to earth cascading down through shiva hair many fasting on earth as the ganges river she gives up she gives us a way to purify our selves from the effect and struggles of bad karmas this yagya takes place on the banks of ganges river in prayagraj the famous city in north is uh, uh, yeah the famous city in india the effect of the yagyas are good for our health both mental and physical the yagya is cooling and uh, soothing like a dip in cool water we often perform this yagya at the end or end of a long yagya and the ganges is a very very holy river in world and uh, every people would like to dip one time in ganges this is right beautiful okay that's all the time we have thank you for joining me on my channel 
we will we can work on this. We can. Uh, I am just blessed to have you on my channel. You're such a, a beautiful, shining being of light. Thank you so much, and uh, greetings from my heart and blessings from my heart. Namaste.